Hey there folks, it's Piano Man Steve Lundgren again, and here we are with our final segment on I'm Still Standing by Elton John. So, at this point you've pretty much learned the song, uh, but what I want to show you is what I'd recommend you do during the instrumental solo. Now it's a guitar solo, so there isn't a canned, you know, even a signature piano solo that I could teach you. Um, <clears throat> so what I want, and, and what would be going on, is you'd just comp the same way you would for a verse. Uh, but what I want to show you is a simple technique you can use for the solo that'll make it sound a little more like a solo and less like comping. Uh, that doesn't really require you to learn anything different. And then I want to show you uh, a way for you to get out, because the song actually has a fade-out ending on the recording. But I'll show you how uh, Elton gets out of it and ends the song live and you can use it so <clears throat> when it comes to the solo what I recommend you do is basically just play what you would play what what you'd play during the verses but I jump at an octave it's amazing how much when you uh, are not playing in this area of the piano down here around middle C that when you jump up into this neighborhood it cuts through the mix if you're playing with a band or or it just it just sounds like it's a part that's supposed to be featured instead of a part that's supposed to go into the background like this is down here that sounds like comping the same part up here sounds more like a solo So, uh, basically, I'm just going to show it to you in an octave up, but as I said, it's no different from what we've already learned back in uh, segment two. But watch it slow. It's your B-flat chord. To an E-flat chord. To an F chord. Back to B-flat. And then a C minor 7 chord. And then it's the F. Then to a G minor. To E flat major. To B flat. And then you jump back down here to go into the chorus and it goes back to B flat minor. Okay, so let's pretend like we're coming out of a chorus, we're coming out of the second chorus and we're going to go into the instrumental solo and I'm going to play it slow a couple of times so you can see it. And just using this simple technique of playing the same comp pattern that you do when you're singing the verses but instead you jump it up an octave and, and it kind of becomes your solo. So coming out of the verses we're going as you saw back into the chorus. Let me show you that again here. So coming out of the second chorus.
Okay, I'm going to do that one more time. And probably uh, down the road, maybe in a few days from when I film this, or it could be a month or two. You just never know. It depends on my schedule. But I'll try to put some thought into some ideas that you could use besides just this for the piano solo. But an awful lot of the people watching these tutorials are in a more intermediate level, and this is about the right amount of challenge for them. So I don't want to put anything too way over their heads in here uh, at this juncture, but I'll try to put something in there for those of you who are, put something together for those of you who are slightly more advanced players. So once again, coming out of that chorus slow, and then I'll play it fast, and then we'll show you the uh, outro, and then we'll just kind of play the thing from beginning to end so you can see all the pieces come together. Coming out of the chorus. So at full speed, you'd be coming out of that chorus and it looks like this. I went into the chorus a ways there. So what's going to be happening at the end of the song is that you're going, I'm still standing. come out <clears throat> instead of going you come out of this deal on the E flat minor chord and then you hit your F chord on the and of four like usual uh and then it becomes uh ba 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 and then it's your G flat, A flat. And then I like to end it on the B flat minor chord. But you could also end it on a B flat major chord. Depends on which one you like better. So it's ba 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 That's with the major chord ending. So that's your F chord, F A C F. G flat is your G flat, B flat, D flat, G flat. And then A flat, of course, is A flat, C, E flat, A flat. And then it's either a B, a B flat minor chord, which would be B flat, D flat, F, B flat. Or you could make that a D natural and make it a B flat major chord. Now what I recommend with the left hand is rather than trying to go, which is muddy and choppy on a piano, okay? What I would do with the left hand is you've been going, Now, I would go to playing octaves together after that first F. One, two, three, four, one, two, bump, bump, bump. One, two, three, four, one, da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, one, da. Okay, see. G flat, A flat. 
flat, B flat. So watch those two hands together here. We've gone, we're going, I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still standing. that a little slower even. speed or there I kind of screwed that up a little bit for you but I still played a B flat minor chord I just by habit came back down and played that inversion but That's how you get out of it. So let me play the whole song now with all of the things that we've learned and all the different segments so you can see how it all comes together. It starts out with the intro. up an octave because we're going to play it as the solo so ba-bum
little tag pretty soon. Here we go. Last time, here we go. And there you go. That's I'm Still Standing by Elton John. Brilliant song. Lot of fun to play. Great little bounce to it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, I uh, thank you for watching and for being a part of my little tribe here. And uh, you know, all of the relevant, I'll have all of the relevant goop in the descriptions as to where you can get more good content and all of that good stuff. But I really appreciate it. I love, I love doing this for you. I love the comments and the community and, and uh, you guys make it possible for me to make a living doing what I love to do. And uh, I can't thank you enough for that. It's a real privilege. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one. And remember, if you're not having fun when you're making music, you're doing it wrong. Okay, see you later guys. What? <laughs> Might want to play it better than that though. See you later.